wake up it's my birthday you guys today's my birthday i am in san antonio texas and um i'm gonna have a birthday by myself i am turning 22 and it's really important to me this year that i spend time by myself you know i feel like we always spend time like our birthdays are always spent around other people and i just really thought about this year and going into the next year like i really want to be happy with myself i really want to be secure with myself and this birthday i'm turning 22 the big 22 so you guys are gonna come along with me it's not gonna be anything crazy but i do want to let you guys know that 2022 is the year of self-care so come along with me in my day as i get ready as i go out as i spend time by myself appreciate myself appreciate my life the life that god gave me and i hope you guys like it let's get this bonnet off let's start getting ready because we got things to do baby i'm gonna get my nails and my toes done first and maybe later we'll hop in that nice pool bust some bathing suits we're gonna hop in there <laughs> What you guys think should i do this i feel like it's giving she's mature she's 22. i don't know i like them they're cute but i'm not gonna do nothing extra i might just pop on some flip-flops because i am getting my feet done or should i do jeans no i think we should do this comment down below jeans or the tan pants let's do tan pants all right, you guys, I'm gonna do my hair. It's not that bad, honestly, but I wanna freshen it up a little bit. You guys, I'm gonna be doing my makeup and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about 2022, how our year was. 2021 was hectic. Um, 2020 and 2021 I felt like was a life changer. I had an idea to be a pediatrician. I wanted to go to medical school and things kind of took a left turn. Um, not in a bad way, but just it was very, it just adjusted very quick. And God was telling me that that was no longer my placement. And that's all I ever knew. I wanted to be a pediatrician since I was so young, so that's the only path that I knew to take and the only path I knew to be passionate in. And this, since um, COVID, since COVID, I really got closer to God and I asked him like, what do you want for me? Because I know whatever you want for me is more important than what I want for myself. And he led me towards ministry and I'm like, I haven't been to church, Lord. I know that, you know, I could pray a good prayer and I know some Bible verses, but that's a lot of leadership. And I felt like God was really telling, ah, I felt like God was telling me that I'm not going to be healing people physically anymore, but spiritually. And that whole, sh that whole thing just shifted my world. And I was trying to readjust to it. I'm trying to find ways around it. But honestly, you guys, when God gives you something or when God gives us a calling over our life, he knows what to do. You know, he's not going to just give us a calling. Just like a lottery ticket. He knows that that's the best plan for our life. And that's why it's important to go with. I'm just going to put some concealer down there. You guys, even though it's my birthday, I'm not going to do anything crazy. Um, I want to feel beautiful. I want to feel presentable. But I want to be comfortable. I feel like 2022 is the year of success. I mean, every year is a year of success depending on your season. But I feel like God has a lot in store for us this this year. Like a lot of us are going to be called to our callings. A lot of us are going to see promotions. And we're going to see the, the fruit of our seeds. 
and I can't wait for that. And let me know in the comments what you guys have in store for 2022. Like, what's something you guys want to change about yourself or you want better for yourself? Because I think we all want that this year. This next year, we are... We're not coming to play. I know I'm not. I'm not coming to play. And a big part of it is, like, life is so short. I just turned 22. Yes, but life is short. And I want to make sure that I'm appreciating everything that God gives me every day. All right, so I just put on my concealer and my foundation. Now I'm going to go in with my Fit Me powders. I use this really tan one in light medium and then I use my actual color which is dark. I feel like 2021 was my season of separation. I felt like no one understood me. I'm like, Lord, why are you separating me from the people that I love the most? It seems like they don't understand me. And I really see now why he did it because what he had planned for my life, a lot of people didn't understand. A lot of people still don't understand, which is okay. I'm still going to love them no matter what. But I know that I have to go with what God wants for me now, what other people want for me. And 2022 is really going to be, be a year of just appreciating what God gave me. Knowing that God's say is over everyone's say. Confidence and the trust that I have in God is, is there, you know, way more than 2020 or in the beginning of the year. And I think that's really what got me through this year. Because without God, I would not be here. Let me know in the comments what you guys have in store for this year. As I said, there will be no wig lifting 2022. And we already have a wig lifting. Wig lift alert, wig lift alert. 2021. My last birthday, I turned 20, 21. Like, I was surrounding myself around people just because I didn't understand how to deal with grief. And I didn't really appreciate my birthday. I didn't really like being out. I didn't even want to go out on my birthday. And I still went out just to kind of please other people. And this year, now that I'm turning 22, and it's really the first year that I'm appreciating my life since my father passed, I'm really seeing that life is so important. Sometimes you don't always have to be surrounded around people. Just like in the Bible, when God got a word, when God needed to talk to God, he always separated himself. When God needed time for himself, he separated himself. And the separation season is so important. Being separated from people brings a lot of light to who you actually are. And I think that's why I want to spend this birthday by myself. I just want to appreciate myself without the other people's opinions, without other people's expectations of me. I don't have to get all dialed up to go somewhere I don't want to go. I'm just going to appreciate the life that God gave me and just appreciate the creation, the woman that he made me. So, and same goes for you. Don't surround yourself around. I'm using um, mascara. Don't surround yourself around people that still have a certain expectation of you, or they still see you the same way you were before you were trying to change. Um, you want to surround yourself around people, and this is for both of us. We want to surround ourselves around people that can see the better version of us. Don't listen to what people have to say because people are going with what they're uncomfortable with. If people see that you're going to a certain route or they see that you're leading your world or your life into something they've never seen before, they're gonna put their doubts on your life, you know? Like I told people I wanted to be, I wanted to go into ministry and because I wasn't in healthcare, people just thought of me as, okay, she's gonna be a doctor, which, is an amazing job you know i still have passion for science and caring for people i'm a cna but that's not my end all goal but yeah that's a little pep talk but for 2022 let me know what your goals are this year let me know what you want to improve in yourself if this is your first time on my channel um i hope you guys like this video and there will definitely be more you ever do your makeup and you feel like you're forgetting a step? I do this almost every day and I feel like I'm forgetting a step. I just got this honestly. I don't even know how it works. Maybelline, New York. It's in more truffle baby. So 
I like it. It's very natural. I don't want to do anything crazy. This is the Milani Makeup Last. You guys, this don't work. I feel like it doesn't do anything. But I'm still going to do it just in case because I'm in Texas. I don't know nothing about this heat. Wigs have been pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. I love the wigs, but they've been pissing me off lately. Mm. You guys, I am all dressed. I feel very pretty. I feel very pretty. Cereal girl. All right. I think I'm going to do the earrings. Or should I do the necklace? All right. I don't like the earrings. As you guys can tell, I'm very indecisive. I don't think 2022 is going to change that. I'm all done. We're going to go get our nails done because I got these nubs and my toes are looking crazy. So let's go to the nail salon and let's see what they got. You guys, make sure you guys are wearing your mask so you keep other people safe and yourself safe. What Texas has given us. Ooh. You guys, I'm from New England where it is brick at this time. Do you see the sun on me? Oh baby, I feel good. I feel like I'm on vacation. Nails done, I'm excited. I don't know any nail salons out here. If you guys are from Texas, let me know where you guys go. I think I'm gonna do something simple. Something very, hello. Something very like, maybe like a bubble bath. Hi, how are you? Um, you just call? Yeah. Mm. Hey, baby, I'm back you guys. I got my nails done. They look so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is the first time I did um, round. So I like it. It looks so mature. And I got my toes done. Hold on. Let me show y'all the toes. Let me show y'all the toes. I'm sorry if they look a little crusty. But I think they look cute. I'm going to get me some birthday dinner. The birthday girl gets what she wants. I'm going to get myself some seafood. We're going to eat. And I'm going to do a Q&A while I eat so you guys get to know me a little better. Let's go get the food because I'm starving. I haven't ate yet, so I'll see you guys soon.